beautiful park nearby our home in Ireland, in the suburb of Dublin, all just done in And rollerblading is awesome. You feel really happy when you exercise. And make sure you do something that's enjoyable. I highly recommend not going to a gym, unless you really like it. But generally, outdoors, fresh air, nature, birds, clouds, sky, sunlight, instead of artificial indoor stuff. So, hey babe. Sally! Ah, she's listening to stuff on her earphones. <laughs> so, it's so much fun, my friends. Hey, babe! <laughs> she can't, she hasn't seen me yet. Oh my god, I have to go in front of her. Speed up a little bit. Sally! I have to watch where I'm going at the same time. Don't want to get killed by a car. <laughs> Another car. So, exercise is really good for your digestion. It's great for your efficiency, your vitality of cells. It's just great for everything. Hey babe, did you have a nice run? Did you have a nice run? I'll get killed. So, there she is smiling, enjoying her run. Walk. Hey. For a second I thought that was Herb Robert, but it's not. So uh, that's all I want to say. Uh, get moving, enjoy your life. Uh, get fit and healthy. The human body is a miracle and it can achieve tremendous things and it just takes time to adapt to get fitter and fitter. And when you exercise, um, may I say, don't rush, but take your time, do it slowly. Don't like struggle and strive to get fit really quickly. Enjoy. Enjoy exercising. Professional athletes do this thing, 95% soft exercise. That's easily within your limits. You're not like struggling or pushing yourself really hard. And maybe 5% intense. 5% breathing heavily maybe, like kind of pushing yourself a bit. More than you, you, you usually do, but you know, don't kill yourself. 5% is 120. 120 it. So out of one day exercising, out of 20, it's one day intense, 19, reasonably easy. So depending on your fitness level, depends on on uh, how easy you can go. Like some people could run five miles really easily, just breathing a little bit above normal, not not too much, not too little. Um, so gradual, slow and steady wins the race, my friends. Don't exhaust yourself, but most of all, just enjoy it and give thanks to Source, God. And your, for the miracle of your body and cherish your body, love your body, look after your body, eat healthily, rest, rest enough. That's another thing regarding rest for, from exercise. It's typically always good to be able to exercise. Hey, how's it going? But, uh, but you're able to do more or less the same thing the next day or else even the next day, two days later. So nice and gradual, nice and easy. And it just means you won't be exhausted and that'll, that'll take away from your life if you're all exhausted the next day or if you have lots of aches and pains. So just take it nice and easy and you can truly build up amazing fitness by taking it gradually. And you can even do stuff like, if, depending on how fit or unfit you are. Let's say you're unfit, you can, even, you can do stuff like gentle yoga moves, like easy stuff, just four or five moves will do you at the beginning. Um, bouncing, jumping jacks, maybe possibly a few little body weight exercises like press ups or sit ups, um, squats, play, stuff like swimming or dancing, rollerblading, all of these are exercises, but they're kind of like fun and practical. Like, I can go to nearby towns and go shopping and go around the place really quickly. <laughs> So Sally, see, see what she's doing? She's doing a mixture of walk, running and walking because she hasn't been exercising in a little while so she's taking it easy to get back into it. So that's one way to do it. Gently, I really encourage gently because a lot of people over-exercise and you don't understand that um, exercise makes you weaker. It, it tears apart, breaks apart or weakens the tissue temporarily. 
but then the minute we stop exercising our body's already starting to recoup and regenerate and build up the tissue back stronger and fitter and more efficient and healthier so recovery is the essential ingredient <laughs> You have to rest and recover enough, and that includes good sleep um, and good nutrition, good food. Hey! So, yeah, rest makes you stronger. That's when the body recovers and regenerates and builds new stuff, healthier, better stuff. And exercise is like depleting. That's why at the end of a marathon, you're not all full of energy and then um, you're not all like running faster and, and more energy because exercise slowly makes you go lower. <laughs> but when you rest, then you get huge. Then, you, then you, you'll feel if you if, ex, if you exercise more than usual, give yourself two, three, four days maybe, and after that time of not particularly exercising much, you'll feel like loads of strength and energy compared to before because you've recovered. That's if you're a reasonably healthy person. If you're sick, it's generally not better. To, it's not too good to exercise aggressively, but just minorly and gently, and at least move your body and stretch. A bit of yoga, soft stuff. So that's all. Thanks for joining me. I hope this has helped and I wish you fitness and vitality and love, light, laughter, peace, happiness, joy, smiles and fun, my friends. Fun. Bye. And one other thing, if you feel tired, take a break. Don't exercise. Don't force yourself to exercise just because you think you should. Listen to your body. If it feels tired, it wants some rest. So take feel welcome to take a day off anytime you want or more and know that in this restfulness you are recovering and gaining strength okay and when you're busy um, during exercise itself body shuts down from detoxification typically but you might notice you do actually um, get rid of some stuff like like um, phlegm when you exercise and that's because your body is like moving things around, inner circulation. So you don't want stagnation, you want circulation. Um, yeah, feel welcome to take a break anytime you want.